Act One, Spotlight. I want to create a dreamy scenario that tells the line between figuration and abstraction, forming a world that is parallel to, yet separate from reality. Each painting is a theatrical scene. I only give clues to the meaning. I want the viewer to use their own imagination and experiences to decide for themselves what is happening. In some cases, even I don't know, the pen strokes are decided by the material. Act Two: Blessing. My paintings start from a quick sketch of people that I observe on the street, in a cafe, a restaurant, or at a party. My scenes are half extracted from my observations and half from my imagination. I want to create romantic scenes that are based on the real world. Yet imply a vision of desire. The blurred faces suggest a loss of identity. No matter how bright and vivid the scenes are, the characters are always alienated, separate from their surroundings. Act three. A little bird told me. Finding myself in London, far from home in China, I experience a sense of marginalization and loneliness. That I think is felt by many people who move from one place to another, particularly in big cities. I find it so intriguing that we can be surrounded by people, yet feel so alone. I want to explore this topic more deeply to try to understand this unspoken spiritual experience that is happening all around us. Act Four: Circles. Underpinning my works is the philosophic idea that all conditional existence is in a constant state of flux. In Buddhism, this is called impermanence. In Taoism, positive and negative. The Greek philosopher Heraclitus simply called it change. Flowing lines, shapes, and tactile movements. Show that all changes are conditional and interdependent in relation to our inner thoughts. I guess all of us are affected by this process of constant and rapid change.